If we're going to have a new year, new me, you have got to stop lying to yourself and you've got to stop lying about yourself. You're saying, Randy, I don't know if I can do that. I don't want to be that way anymore. How do I change? How do I get different? Well, let me share with you this truth. And the truth is this. Christians can exchange their mind for the mind of Jesus. Christians can, Christians can change their mind for the mind of Jesus. Notice what Philippians 2, 5 says. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Think about that. If we humble ourselves, if we submit, if we say, oh God, I don't want my mind anymore that thinks I'm great when I'm not. I don't want to think like this anymore. I want the mind of Christ. If we say that, if we pray that, if we submit, then we can think like Jesus about people. We can think like Jesus about things. We can think about Jesus like Jesus about us. You see, when you pray, oh God, take my mind and give me the mind of Christ, then he'll let you think about yourself the way Jesus does. And if you, if you let him give you his mind, then you can think about what you should do like Jesus does. You can think about where you should go like Jesus does. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a radically different way to live. Say in 2022, you decide that you're going to think like Jesus. You think you'll be different by the end of the year? You're saying, Randy, is that possible? Yes. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 2, 16, we have the mind of Christ. That's why Romans 12, 2 says, then you will learn to know God's will for you. If we give God control of our mind, he gives us the mind of Jesus, then that's how you know if you should take another job. That's how you should know if you should marry that son of a gun. That's how you should know how much money you should spend. That's how much you should know about anything. Wouldn't that be an amazing way to live? 